Hello. This will probably be a, a quick one. I'm eating a pork belly. I've never done that before. I thought it was supposed to be bacon. Maybe it is bacon. A bacon steak. But um, it doesn't taste like it. It just tastes like a pork chop. Today's Friday. Today is the 4th of June. Yeah. I guess I've got a little momentum with these things going. I almost wondered if it was going to happen at all, but I don't know. There's like four pieces so far. I've uploaded them. They exist. And I feel, I feel a little better for it. When I journal like this, it kind of changes the subjective um, passing of time. Do you know what I mean? Days fly by sometimes, but when I do these, and when they're on my mind, that is when I um, review what I've recently been talking about. It's not even about what I talk about, it's just about like, quite literally, I guess, checking in with myself. Like, how are you? I don't know. And I can't ask myself in the moment. I need like something outside myself. And so if I look, then, uh, then I actually know. I'm feeling um, better. I know. I'm I'm in a kind of a good mood. I know this because I'm starting to get interested. Things are just basically barely captivating my attention again. What does that mean? Um I don't know, I watched some watch the news, read some articles. Started analyzing geopolitics again. Which isn't something I've spoken about here, but that's like you might consider that an odd interest of mine, but it's an interest, a hobby, you know. I'm doing something I enjoy doing again. It's an odd thing to enjoy doing. I think sometimes I tend to get really into the things, into doing the things that interest me. Um, I don't know. I mean, if I'm down or um, I can always tell um, what am I trying to say <clears throat> it's kind of a mental block I can tell how I'm doing by how interested I am in the things that I'm doing. You know what I mean? It's like a flower blooming or wilting in a cycle, if that makes sense. What else am I interested in? It's Friday night, so I'm, it feels like Friday. Do you know that? that that experience of um, not being excited for holidays or weekends. I've, I've felt like that for a while, I guess.
This is surprising. We wandered into sensitive territory. I didn't even realize that. I'm both. I'm trying to neither backpedal nor like mask myself. All I'm left, if I don't do either of those things, I'm just left with like flat affect. <clears throat> Too personal. It's Friday, I'm in a good mood. I feel like a beer. I'm probably gonna go get a beer. I kind of feel like taking a walk into the city. I would get tired if I did that, but the idea of it occurs to me and sounds like a good idea. There's a few um, neighborhoods I just like to walk around because they're nice to see. It's kind of a nice cool evening for that. So the thought of that pops into my head and appeals to me tells me that I'm in a good mood, which is nice. In the back of my mind, I can start, I feel um, um, like the desire and like kind of the beginning of plans to do something creative again, which is nice. think about cleaning up. The hardest part about cleaning up for me is I never know where to put anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, I always have so much stuff. I moved in here with, like, nothing. And I don't collect things, really. And still have stuff. How did I end up with stuff? I actually, I feel like reading too. I was okay. I kept up with reading a little bit during the pandemic, but I don't know. Sometimes you just have that hunger to like consume books as, as if they were food. I'd like to feel that again. I like feeling like that. It's funny, everything I've done in life is to achieve um, like some kind of peak flow state. Do you, do you know what I mean? You know, do you, do you believe that? Like, I think that's true. I really think that's true. Well, I'm being kind of conservative about it. Like, that is true. It's absolutely true. Like, if you ask me what I when people ask me what I want, it irritates me because the truth they wouldn't understand, or they don't. Or they, or they don't appreciate. It makes me feel like they didn't want to know in the first place. You know, so I develop this habit of Framing an answer to suit the um, like the implicit protocol that they're laying out, whether they know it or not. Someone asks you, "What what do you want?" And so I answer in like material things, or um, 
not material, but um, we can't just say flow state, perpetual flow state, you know. <laughs> but really, um, if I'm honest, like that's that's what I want out of life. It's what I've always tried to achieve. So what? Oh, uh, that came up because of reading. Like, I like. Maybe that's how I learned about flow states. And I, I realized it's a level, a label that, I don't know, I, it may have other, I don't really know what it means. I'm just trying to think of a word to describe. I guess I'm still doing the same thing. I'm like framing the answer in a way that you would understand. That's not your fault. That just means that I don't really understand. There's a way of being, a simple way of being that is independent of any like artifacts that surround it but is better than all of the way of beings. And uh, describing it to you as, you know, like caveman-like as I can. And um, that's all I care about, secretly. for a long time. That would really explain a lot about me if you knew me. I'm boring myself. I must be boring you. So I'll finish the thought for the sake of, you know, being coherent, and then um, that's it. It was good to see you. So reading taught me about this, what it feels like to read when you really enjoy reading. There's like a lot of, a lot of comprehension that happens and a lot of brain magic probably, more than just a hobby. I think it's the most useful thing you can do with your time and starting to feel like doing that again, you know. It's something I'm good at. It's an odd thing to be good at. Maybe I'm not as good at it as I thought, but I don't care. Like, it's something I want to experience again. I get a lot out of books, out of reading books. And um, I'm probably going to challenge myself and again, just for the pleasure of doing it, and uh, crack open some math books and see if I can apply that. I could talk a lot about that, but I'm just going to leave it. It's like a different kind of reading. I like, God, I love textbooks. Do you know anyone that collects, like, likes textbooks? I have plenty, so I don't need any more. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, um. I guess this is a little humorous. Um. No, I don't want to say that. I don't even want to make a joke about that. But, um. I had a friend who. I thought it was quirky and charming of him that he would uh, keep his college tech textbooks instead of selling them back to the store because he liked them. You know? And I was like, hmm. So it was a habit that I, I adopted. I always thought it was funny that... Not funny, but I noticed 
acutely how rapidly coursework would um, skip through whatever text was associated with it. Like you get these massive tomes, right? These heavy, expensive books. And um, I don't know, you start at chapter three, you jump, you like, it's very selected, modularly and quickly. And at first I assumed um, that it must mean that the textbooks are, are not well written and the teachers know much better. And then I think it was just expediency really like the other chapters that people skip. And one day it dawned on me that like when someone wrote, say a math text, like they really thought about it and like put the first thing first and all the way through to the end. And so like math teachers across the country were just butchering these people's work. Can you imagine that? You know, like, um, I don't know. Say you, say you say you made films or something, and um, the screening, like the actual screening, for whatever, owing to whatever convention, um, was viewed in like a, a truncated, chopped up form, you know, for the purpose for like rhetorical purposes, you know, to demonstrate. Um, what the film was about rather than just showing the film it would be absurd and yet there's some sensibility in our culture that makes the possibility of that I, like forget about films that's just a particularly um, colorful example I think it really makes the point but like I don't know. There's a very airy idea I'm reaching for. I'm gonna say it and let it go and that'll be that. But like we're we're used to consuming like versions of things rather than the things themselves to the point I'll just leave that there. I I can't develop the idea much more than that. But like Almost to the point where life itself isn't even the real thing. It's just like the expedient version of it. Owing to some convention that is justified, whose development and implementation is justified as like a solution to some um, unanswerable quandary. At some point in the past, among like an obscure set of people that... had the power to, um, you know, implement or do something about it. And that's what they chose. And be divorced from the consequences of it. So they didn't sweat the solution too much. And it's super cryptic, I know, but that's like literally smoky, graspy images from the contents of Something that my brain is thinking about. Do I know what it means? Obviously not well enough to tell you, but I could sit and think about it for a while. This is how I know I'm feeling better. Because I start to think about things like these again. I was on a real roll for a while. I was having some good brain thoughts. And I was pretty happy about it, despite in spite of the ridiculousness of um, mundane reality. I don't know if that's a story I'm ever going to tell. I'd like to, but um, I just want to move forward with my life. It's not even, the story isn't even that remarkable. You know what I mean? Like, I was 
having some deep thoughts. I was getting somewhere, finally. Mental, like, intellectually, psychologically, you know. I was, like, becoming, if not the person I wanted to be, but, like, the kind of person I wanted to be. Things that I wanted within myself started to become within my own grasp, and then... Just life became very strange for quite a while. So strange that I could wear this face for like a thousand years. in silence. Let's go have a beer. Happy Friday. <laughs>